Right, welcome back. Today, we are taking another look at our line art converter tool we have, which is currently on our website. We have made a video on this before when we first made it. It worked absolutely perfect, but it just seemed very bland. It was all just black and white. There was no theme or anything to it. So I thought I'd make a new video here today showing you the updates and stuff we've done to it and what you can expect from the website going forward. But before we do get into it, I'd like to say a massive thank you to every single member that signed up. We have well over 2,000 members that have actually registered to this account, which is absolutely unreal. We never thought it would do this well, to be fair. We just thought some people would use it now and then, you know, to convert their images. But yeah, we've got well over 2,000 members and it just keeps going up every single day. So many people are signing up day by day and we can't believe it. We are very grateful. And if you're new to the channel, guys, and this is your first time seeing the website, definitely give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. We are going to be doing some giveaways very shortly to our subscribers and members of the website. Definitely subscribe and we'll do something very soon regarding that. If you've seen the previous video on how we set it up, we just had the default web hosting web address. We've now actually got our own custom web address, which is markm.uk. And when you open up the website, you'll be greeted with a screen like this. So you can create an account. You can sign up with Google or you can sign up with your email and create a password. Alternatively, if you are already registered, you can just sign in. So you can sign in with Google or you can log in with your email. I've obviously already got an account, so I'm going to log in with Google. And once you're logged in, there we go, you will be greeted with this page. Again, very similar to how it was before, but the theme just follows it throughout. So every time you convert an image, we do only charge you one credit. Unlike a lot of other websites which charge you like a random number, like 3 or 14 or 20 to do one conversion, we don't do that. It's just one image, one credit, one conversion. And after that, you've got a logout button, and then you've got a buy credits button, which we'll take a look at that a bit more in a moment. And then below that, we've got our box here where you can upload your image or drag and drop. So basically, if you want to upload an image from your computer, you can just click it. It'll open up my documents or my photos, and then you can just select your photo and it'll upload it down here. But again, you can drag and drop from your documents, or you can also drag and drop from the internet. If you find an image you like, you can drag and drop it in here, and then it'll upload it down here. Once your image is uploaded, you've got these three options. You can go with line art, thick line art, or my favorite detail line art. Back to the top then. So let's say you are a new member and you don't have any credits. So you're gonna need to go to buy credits. This will open up this page. So you've got three options here. You can buy 10 credits for $2, which works out about 20 cents a credit. You can buy 25 credits for $4, which works out roughly about 16 cents a credit. Or you can buy 50 credits for $7, which works out roughly about 14 cents a credit. Now, unlike a lot of similar other websites where they offer a subscription service, we don't offer that. We don't believe in it. We've set these prices here as cheap as we possibly can, just so you can use this service and not spend an absolute fortune on it. Whereas other websites, they're offering subscription services. So you're paying, for example, $20 for 100 credits for the month. Let's say you only use 25 of them credits one month. Next month comes, they'll charge you another $20 but your credits won't roll over. You'll just get a brand new set of 100 credits. So technically, you're only getting 75 for your $20. Big rip off if you ask me, but not my concern, but it's just not how we do it here. So no subscription. You buy your credits. Let's say you buy 10 credits today. These will never expire. You can use them when you want to use them, and then month by month, they'll just sit there until you do use them up, and then you can just buy more credits. Now, I will explain quickly how we did come to these prices, mind. So the API we are using is one of the best ones on the market. Again, other websites are using really cheap ones, or I think there are free ones out there, but the results personally, I don't think are that good. So it costs us roughly anywhere between about $0.08 cents to about $0.24 cents for every image conversion a user does. So let's say, for example, you buy your 50 credits for $7. So you're only paying about $0.14 cents an image. Most of those images, we're not actually making any money on whatsoever. We do actually lose money. So it does kind of balance it out with the way we've got these prices set up. But this is how we come to the conclusion of what our prices should be. Now, hopefully in the future, with so many different companies creating their own APIs, the market is going to get a bit more saturated. So fingers crossed, you know, it might become a little bit cheaper in the future. But like I said, we are using one of the best ones on the market. So it may not happen anytime soon.
But again, ours is not expensive. Paying 14 cents to convert an image, honestly, is peanuts. So spiel over, let's have a look at buying some credits. So let's say you just wanna buy 10 credits for $2. You click buy now, and then that'll open up Stripe. If you're not sure what Stripe is, it's not owned or run by us. It's a completely safe checkout system. It's all done through Stripe's website. You can check them out, stripe.com. It's all very secure. We don't see any of your details or anything like that at all. So unlike last time, we didn't actually have a PayPal option there. So now we have integrated it. So a lot of other people who prefer to use PayPal can now use our website using PayPal. And if you're using your mobile phone, you'll get the option for like Google Pay and Apple Pay as well. They will be there. The website works very well with your phone as well, just so you know. You fill in all your details, you press pay, and then once you're done, as long as that payment goes through, it'll say payment successful, credits added to your account. It should take you back to the home page. So let's go there now. Let's say, for example, you're the new user, you've just bought 10 credits. This will then say 10 credits at the top. Unlike the last video we did on this as well, we do now have a couple of links up here. These probably will change of where they are at the moment but it is just to add a contact form mainly. So any users have any problems, you just let us know. If you click contact, it'll open up this page here. All you need to do is put your name in, put your email address in that you've actually registered on the account so we can find your account. And then whatever the issue is, just put it in there. We'll get the email and we'll take a look at it and try and get back to you as soon as we can. Right, so we've gone on the website, we've registered, we've signed in, we've just bought credits. Now let's have a look at using the website. So like I said, you can click that and then upload an image from your computer, but I'm gonna go on the internet and I'm gonna find an image just to use very quickly. So I've just gone onto Google, I'm just gonna look at images of cars and I'm gonna go with this one here. So again, we can drag and drop this now onto our website. So let's say you've got this page open, you'll double click and on the sec, click hold it over to our website and then we just drag and drop it there. And there we go, our image is uploaded. I do recommend trying to get like the highest resolution images you can, just to try and get the best results. And also, if you can, remove the background, because if there's a lot going on with the background, it can convert the stuff in the background as well. So I do recommend removing it beforehand, but this image should be okay. We'll do each type of conversion here, just so you can see how they all look. The line art one will literally just be like a standard outline, not too much detail to it at all. Thick line art, again, it is what it says. It just follows the outline of it. It just does it a little bit thicker. And with like the shadowed areas, you might just get like thick black blocked areas, which does look pretty good if you ask me, especially if you're doing like logos and stuff. But then we've also got the detail line art, which as I've already mentioned, is my favorite and you just get the best results with it. Let's go with line art first of all. So like I said, once you've clicked it, you'll get the little loading bar here. We are working on some sort of animation to go in here. So if you go on the website and this looks a little bit different, that's just because we've just updated the website. There we go, image converted. Like I said, it didn't do the background. So all we've got is a very simple, thin outline of the whole car. Obviously, we've got the lights, we've got the wheels and everything in there. I'm actually really happy with how that turned out. So what I'm gonna do now, I am gonna press the download button, and this is just gonna save it to my computer directly. I'll do it with each style. So I'll do them with the thick line art, and then the detail line art. I'll download them all, and then we'll go over into Inkscape, We'll just compare all three, and at the same time, I'll show you how to convert it to a vector. It'll be one click to convert it to vector. It'll be very simple with these line art images. Let's go with thick line art now. Like I mentioned, we should get something similar to the standard line art, but the line should hopefully be a little bit chunkier, and we should get a little bit more detail in there, especially like the shadows and stuff like that. And there we go, that's converted. And like I said, very similar to the standard line art. You can see we've got much thicker lines here and a little bit more detail with it. But again, I'm gonna download this, and then we'll import that into Inkscape in the end. And you can see up here, as we're doing it, obviously the credits are coming down. We've done two conversions. We started on 22, now we're down to 20. Now we'll do the detail line art, and this should take us down to 19. I should mention as well, the credits won't come down until the image is being converted. If you ever see like an error message pop up where it couldn't do the image, Sometimes the API is getting overloaded because so many people are using it at the same time. Just run it again. Any credits it tries to take, it just refunds it back. So yeah, if you get any errors, just try again. And there we go. Again, this is the reason why it's my favorite style because the details on it are just absolutely superb. It's taken a look at the image we've uploaded and it's just converted it into a stunning line art image, if you ask me. Let's download this again and then we'll go into Inkscape. 
So I've just imported the three images we just converted now into Inkscape. These are still bitmaps, they're not currently vectors, but I'm gonna show you very quickly how you can convert this to a vector. So let's select our image. On the right-hand side, I've got trace bitmap here. I'm gonna click that, and we're gonna see a preview. Whichever image you've got selected, you'll see a preview for it. If you haven't got it in Inkscape on yours, you can go to Path, Trace Bitmap, which is there, or Shift, Alt, and B on a Windows PC, and it'll load it up over here, or it'll give you a little separate window to play with. Default settings should work absolutely fine with just black line art. Shouldn't be a problem with it. But if you're getting really thin details in there, if we slide this up and down, you can see you can get different results. But like I said, we're just going to go with whatever the default is. I think it was about 500. This image selected, all the defaults, just press apply. And then we can move that up there. We can delete the original. And then with your image, then you can just go file, export, or save as SVG. And your image then is a vector. Very, very simple indeed. So let's try it again with an image of an actual person. Let's go with this image here. There's lots of details in there. So I'm hoping we can get a nice finished image. So let's drag and drop that onto our website. Again, literally drag and drop from the internet. And again, we'll run all three different styles to see how it looks. And when you are doing photos, because this is an AI tool, you're not always gonna get an exact representation of the image. Same with pretty much any AI tool out there. When you're doing outlines, it can sometimes look a little bit off. But we're gonna see how we fare with that now. So let's go with the line art one. So there we go with the standard line art style. That's actually come out really, really nice. And let's now go with the thick line art. So this should probably give us like more of a cartoony comic book style, but we'll have a look. And then once that's done, we'll try the detail line art. And hopefully we should get a very nice detailed black and white image. And then there we go with the thick line art. Again, not a bad representation. It's taken everything from the image that I can see in there. So again, not bad at all. So let's download that. And now let's go with the detail line art. And there we go with the detailed line art conversion. That is really nice. I just love how we got like all the details of all the hair, all the creases and everything. And then just like minimal shadows in there. I really do like that. So there we go, guys. That's how easy it is to use our website. I'll put a link down in the description if you want to check it out. So definitely register now if you want to give it a go. And again, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. I have also created a Facebook group as well. So I'll put a link down in the description if you want to join that, guys. On there, I will be doing like competition giveaways and stuff like that as well, where I can give free credits out to users if they do want to give the website a go. So again, check that out. The link will be down in the description for that as well. So any questions or comments, guys, put it down below. I do hope you enjoyed the video, and I do really hope you enjoy using the website. We have put a lot of time and effort into this, and we're trying to make it the best tool possible for you guys. So have fun with it, and we'll see you in the next one. Ta-da!